Good morning, Internet, and welcome back to the Deadly Dreamland. Thought I'd show you something funky that happened. Uh, we're back here on the magma planet. Uh, got the dupes over here. I think last episode we were shipping them. And, like, this was all just digging, so there wasn't really anything happening. We're slowly waiting on this water to come down so I can open those doors. This was dormant, and it just became active, which is annoying. I used my thermium to build a bunch of auto sweepers just to get all the debris out of here. And that's when I noticed something weird. When I turn on the temperature map... Huh? How are there all these green things? So this thermium has been inside of my rocket. So it was a perfectly reasonable temperature. It is such a good conductor of heat, and the carbon dioxide pressure is so low. You know, if you have this sweeper, which weighs 200 kilograms, and the carbon dioxide trying to heat it up is 100 micrograms, that's a lot of heat that this can warm up. And so that's what happened over here was the thermium from the sweepers, you know, I just kind of dropped it on the ground as I was sweeping stuff, and it just kind of turned it all nice and green, which I thought I'd share with you guys is a interesting way of cooling it down. Seems like the carbon dioxide is starting to get out of here. I still don't know where it came from. You know, I went back and watched a couple of old, you know, a couple of episodes as they're coming out and I'm like, okay, like I still don't know where it came from. So now, I can, oh, man, I'm really annoyed that this just became active again. Ah, oh, it screws me up. All right, so we got the top in. We know we want, well, you can supply. So this will be, and then we can do this. Oh, I can make sure I get to the other side. So similar to the iron volcano and the tungsten volcano, this stuff comes out hot. Do we have, we should have some I will be over here. Okay, I'm just looking at the conductivity and specific heat. It's holding 0 0.2, huh? Nope, where, where did you go? No, I won't. There, you. So yeah, specific heat of 0.2. And let's go over to the aluminum volcanoes. We'll get back up to that here in a second. 0.9. So, okay. Yeah, it, it's it's hot, but it's not holding on to a whole lot of heat. We've got... Yeah, sure, we'll take some copper ore. And it starts to cool down the tile it's sitting on. If there was something on here that... I can't think of anything I would put on there that would outgas carbon dioxide. Whatever. Well, we've got plenty of thermium, so I might as well start planning this out. And we have plenty of obsidian. And that's just going to come right down there. Everything in here gets to be made of thermium because we have it. And I'm actually legitimately worried about steel melting. So there is good, that can see everything. Can then put the loader over here. Okay, good, I am making this out of thermium. I was worried there. Yeah, so you come up through here like that. How far can you see? You will like 
connect. Thermal sensor. Yeah, that way that will all run along the top. Electronics engineer. I thought I did. Who do we have here? Where are we? No, no, and no. Well, I am sorry one of you guys is getting skill scrubbed. And we actually don't really care who, do we? All right, that's my mistake. I thought I grabbed a mechatronics engineer. Well, it looks like we are going to need a... Yeah, right there should be fine. Perfect. Well, we'll get them to supply all this. We'll get them skill scrubbed. Once we get a mechatronics engineer, we'll be back. Right. Hassan has been skill scrubbed. He is now mechatronics, so we can start building everything. The sweepers did a good job of getting most of the debris out of here, so that's all nice and cleaned up. Now we're just waiting on this carbon dioxide to get out of here. I don't really want to put a pump in here. Farther come down. I opened this up. This used to only be one wide. I mean, it's so darn close. It's right there. So once it starts getting below 10, it can just evaporate. But some reason down here, it's still in the 80s, which I guess is good. It was in the, you know, grams when I first got here. Yeah, we'll let them build. I actually do want to put a water lock in here. Because I want to be able to get all this built sealed. Then once everything's in, dig all this out. And have a way back in. Does, do I even need? No, I have to be able to get in there to dig that. The other option would be a robo miner with a automation. Anyway, we'll let them build. Then we'll be back and see what it looks like. This keeps happening, and I don't know why. They keep sleeping next to the mini pod instead of going back to their beds inside the rocket. They have beds. They do sleep in here. Not a lot of suits. Oh, wrong button. No, there's an ammo suit right there. There's the worn ones. Oh, there's another worn one. And this is just about to come down one tile, which will be great. I'm gonna pump a bunch of water down into here. How hot is this stuff? Stupid hot. So very important, before I pump water into here, get all the air out. How's the vacuum coming? Oh, it's moving. We're up to here. And it's getting there, it's just taking a long time. I just gotta keep an eye on my dupes and find out why they wanna sleep here. Just getting hypnotized watching this carbon dioxide come around this corner. I think once it hits this area, it should accelerate as there'll be more and more vacuum squares for the game to then delete the air.
And, you know, they're still building. But some of the mechanics in this game are quite wacky, you know, when you compare them to reality. We're just making everything out of thermium. You all need to be hooked to power. Nope, not gold. Thermium, all my gold is stuck inside a big liquid reservoir I can't get into. Let's double check that I made all this out of thermium. Yes, okay, good. So the plan for cooling the steam turbines is just put a layer of water down here. As long as I don't flash boil it, it should be fine. What's... Oh, I thought it just said it was trying to make something out of steel. Yeah, that conveyor bridge is made out of steel. No. Thermium. Ah, oh, that's backwards. Out of thermium like that. You can just be open. Alright, we're getting there. It's so close. What's this down to? This whole room's down to 20. I just have not wanted to put a pump in here or anything else that will just overheat when you're trying to get rid of this small of an amount of gas. All right, let's make sure we got power wires. Those all look good. Plumbing. Not quite done, but it's almost done. And liquid reservoir. Oh, and this we gotta sweep up. All right, we'll bring it back once we get the air out, or carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide has made it around the corner. Pretty soon it should go and pop through all of this. There'll be some trap down here. And then I can turn on the water. So let's see where I'm at with power. That power is hooked up. We want to disconnect it from here. That way these three... What are you running? We're just running the pump and stuff. We can make that four. God, I love having the flyers back. There. Those four can then run everything down here. All right. Temperature-wise, all this is reasonable, so I should be able to dump some water in here. This vacuum's come. Look at that. Look at it go. Once it gets around the corner, it is much better. It's got to wait for it to get all the way out, but this is all ones and twos. And we can start filling that up. And then, yep, that dropped that below there. We'll probably get that other tile down, and then we can actually get back into that room. You if you are above 100. Like, I don't want this turning on at all. It should be the only thing they're building, so they should be here pretty quick. Oh, and this is now a vacuum. Awesome. 
And I think it's that tile. So I should be able to dig those. And sweep that out so I can get the most mass out of here. And then we'll see if I can time this correctly. Right, that should be enough water. That I can probably do that. How far did that get? Eh. Still got a third of a tile in there. Two thirds of a tile. Please don't flash. Sweet. Right, that should be enough of that, and the rest I can put in the tank. Oh, I want to do some in here too. Right, first. Sweep. You deconstruct. This is just a lot of this. But these didn't flood, so that's great. That's almost swept out of there. You auto. I forgot, I still gotta put water in the steam room. Nope, nope. Probably have to do this. All right, let's not let anybody through there right now. Oh, no, I wanna dump the water in. I keep thinking backwards about this. Actually, you are not active right now. And this one block shouldn't be enough to flash everything to stupid levels. Perfect, here comes the water. Assuming I'm gonna need a couple hundred down here. Look at that, instant steam. And I don't have a researcher and because this is active, I don't even wanna send in a researcher. Yeah, that will drop my water level down. Now you, we can set to, I don't know, 25. We can hook up the power. Probably enough. Let's see what are you were down to. And you're down to half a tile. I just don't know how much of that's going to burn everything. We'll just do that. Perfect. And then this water should get down to temperature, no problem. Just to be safe, I'm going to put in another layer of ins insulating tiles up there. Yeah, that would be the uh, solar running out. Should have enough. Oh, it's dropping. Okay. Like I've got four hooked up, right? One, two, three. No, that's only three. 
you are going to hook up. Actually, we can just do that. I mean, this is only running a pump. And that's now locked. All right, we'll come back once the volcano goes off and uh, see what kind of mess it makes. Heard while I was waiting on that, I'd come check this one, and it's still working fine. Other than two steam turbines, apparently are not getting the heat out of this iron fast enough. There is 24 tons of it over here. But this should just keep rotating. So, I mean, this iron over here just keeps the steam turbines going. What do you set to? One? Yeah, and then he's just... Digging away, because I was bored. Told him to go dig. Ooh, 9,000 calories. He could use some more food. Go ahead. Make yourself some food. How are you doing? 100,000 food. 300,000 food. We're just waiting for that to go off. I don't know what what the information on it is. This thing does not erupt very often. I don't I didn't pay attention to the cycle count, but I think it's like eight or nine cycles later that this just now says rising pressure. So just to be aware. Niobium Volcano's not going to go off very often. I don't even know how long it's going to stay on rising pressure, but I just start, just saw it starting to go off, so I figured I'd come over and we'll see what happens. And it might be like one of those magma volcanoes that does this for a cycle and a half. For the most part, I've just been uh, pumping magma. There's something for my dupes to do. Let's even turn that off. What does this say? 200, 290 kilograms a second for 60 seconds. That's a lot of niobium. Like I'm used to going out to space and getting a couple of kilograms and being happy. This is going to be several tons. Oh, it doesn't melt that Tim Shift plate. Twenty six hundred versus thirty four. It's an eight hundred degree margin. It. I don't know. Was trapped. You all saw that, right? Said trapped. Oh, and a save. All right, maybe I brought you back in a little bit too early. Go oh, talk amongst yourselves. Grab a drink. Grab something. Bite to eat. If you watch a movie. <laughs> but this is my first time seeing one of these erupt, so we'll see what happens. And I also flipped, we'll pause. I flipped over to my channel and I noticed that I just hit 200 subscribers. Which, thank you all, anyone who's subscribed. That's awesome. When I started this channel, I didn't think I'd get two subscribers. So getting up to 200 is amazing. Hopefully you all like what I'm doing. If you have comments, ideas, anything, post them on the videos. You know, this works better with feedback. If I know what you guys are looking for, or if you have questions, then it kind of helps what I'm doing. Otherwise, I'm just sitting in a room talking to myself, waiting for a volcano to erupt. I mean, I could go into debug mode and analyze it, but it is what it is. I mean, whenever it erupts is when it's going to erupt, and 
knowing exactly that won't change anything. So far this has worked. I got the igneous rock out of there. I feel like I'm just waiting for an explosion. Like this thing's going to go off and melt stuff I don't expect it to. I have to put an iron volcano next to this because it seems like it's the same color. I guess it's darker. Oh, and I gave him a comfy bed. Yeah, it is darker. I don't think the steam will get to a thousand degrees. If the steam gets to a thousand degrees, this is all going to be a giant failure. Yeah, it's been about a cycle. So, sorry for bringing you back so soon. Oh! That was unexpected. Like, I hit pause as fast as I could. What the hell is this? Um... Apparently I need a Robo Miner, because, oh dear God. I mean, it's already, like, it really was, as soon as this appeared, I hit pause on the game and unpaused you. This appeared instantly. It cooled down fast. And the temperature's coming right out of it, but, yeah, apparently, um... Okay, so let's, we are going to hook up the water, cool the room down. And we're going to put some water in over here. All right, I'll let my dupes do that and then we'll break in there. But yeah, that all appeared instantly. So. Quick edit, when you're making a Niobium Volcano Tamer, Robo Miner is mandatory. And I understand the trapped message, all my suits are worn out. I'm running out of suits. Those are all worn. But the good news, oh, I'm clicking on everything, is we are pumping water out of here. So down here, this is going to make a heck of a mess. Oh no! Oh, my, I put this in because the steam turbine was going the wrong way, and hopefully that's not very much. All right, here comes the big water. Yeah, this is, this is, I'm glad I put that door in. That door is now very, very important. needs to be insulated. Remember how happy it was when I got rid of the carbon dioxide? Well, probably that steam is just gonna keep I was like, oh, we can condense this down, but that side is going to always be steam now. That's fine. It's insulated. Okay, now we're going to wait for the steam to evaporate out of here. Good God.
Oh, because I'm, I'm like, why is it making that noise? It's because I'm pumping all this water in. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We pumped out enough water. Now, they can come back in here and get these suits. Priority. How much steam was that? Yeah, 400 grams. But this is now sealed. This door is not interacting with that water. So, yes, putting in that was a great idea. And now we cooled everything off. Okay, so what we learned from this experiment is the Niobium volcano erupts all at once. I think that's a bug and I will report it. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you, know, if you have comments, questions, or ideas, let me know.